John LaGreca's Top 5. Yeah! All right, these things are going to be happening every day, and they're going to be topical. So we're going to have actually two today because we have to have two because there's two New York football teams. It's the Top 5 free agent signings for both local football teams. And you don't just have any on the Bills? Just no. <laughs> Tri-state area New York football teams. Oh, now, okay. These these are the top five free agents. Not Wayne Krebet or Victor Cruz. These aren't free agents who are undrafted signees. These are actual free agents who are on other teams that the Jets and Giants were able to sign. Okay? We'll start with the Jets since we're the home of the Jets. All right, top five. You want any guests? Throw somebody out. Number five. Um, let's see. Uh, was Kevin Mawai a, a free agent signing? Oh, Kevin Mawai was a free agent, and he's yeah. number two on the list. Kevin Mawai. I am so smart. Spent Good seven job. years with the New York Jets, and five of those seven he went to the Pro Bowl. And, of course, he was one of the mainstays on that team, that 98 Jets team that might be one of the best Jet teams of all time. I've got Kevin Mawai at number two on my Jets list. Peter, you have a guess? Um... I'll make a fool of myself, I'm sure, but uh, Boomer Sison. No, Boomer Sison did not make it. So I, I got, I've got one. Yes. Let's say here we go. Ryan Khalil. No, that was he didn't make the list either. So RJ, <laughs> give me a five. Bart. Number five. Scott. Bart wow. Scott signed a six-year, $48 million contract with the Jets. He missed just one game in four years, and he was a leader on both the 2009 and 2010 teams that went to the championship game. I've got him at number five. Number four is also number four. a <laughs> member of the Jet teams that went to back-to-back championship games. That would be Damian Woody. Five years, $25 million. In three wow. years, he missed just three games. He was the right tackle on one of the best offensive lines in football. And I always remember Damian Woody saying he used to be able to tell the defensive end, we're running the ball right, and they would be able to still run the ball right. That's how effective Damian Woody was and that offensive line. I've got Damian Woody at number four. Number three. Number three, Vinny Testaverde. Seven years with the Jets. That's completed 59% of his passes over those seven years. 77 touchdowns, 58 interceptions. One of his best years came in 1998. He threw 29 touchdown passes, completed 61.5% of his passes. He went to the Pro Bowl, and, of course, they went to the championship game. I've got Vinny Testaverde at number three. Number two. And as Pete, uh, uh, Michael did a great job, Kevin Mawai, he's a Hall of Famer. Seven years with the Jets. Five of those seven years, he went to the Pro Bowl. And now, number one. Yeah! Curtis Martin, six years, $36 million. Here's his average over eight seasons with the Jets. He averaged just under 1,300 yards per season, and he averaged over seven touchdowns per season. Of course, was a member of that 98 championship team, a team that went to the championship game. He is a Hall of Famer. Curtis Martin is number one. All right, number wow. five. And now the top five for the Giants. We'll buzz through them Can I guess? if you want. Yes, go ahead. No, we've got all day. All right. Uh, I'd Michael's say number one. Uh, well, I've got to play along. Plexico. Lexico Burris is number one. Four years yeah. with the Giants. Here's you know, his three-year average because he shot himself in year four. In wow. the three years he was healthy, he averaged over 1,000 yards receiving and just under 10 touchdowns per year. And even if you average in the half a season he had in his last year, he still averaged over eight touchdown y- touchdowns per season. I've got Plexico at number one. So you want to hear the other ones or you want to guess? I want to guess. I want to guess. I'm into this. I love list. How about the beautifully handsome Sean O'Hara? Sean O'Hara Ooh. is number three. Seven years yeah. with the Giants. Three Pro Bowls in 08, yeah. 09, and 2010. Of course, part of that championship season in 2007. Sean oh, I know O'Hara one, I know what everyone's been thrilled with. He's been worth every penny. Nate Solder. Bring him up. Here we go. <laughs> Nate no, Solder. No. He might be on a list of worst free agent oh, signings, but he's sorry, not on the top five best signings. Hmm. Now I'm going to give a, uh, this is this is a this is a long shot. I don't know if you included this in your top 5. Yes. But I think it could be considered. 
You're yes. Right. Kerry Collins. Kerry oh. Collins is number five. Wow. He's been yeah. five wow, years with the Giants. He actually holds six different playoff records in franchise history, albeit one of those records is interceptions. And, of course, he led the Giants to the Super Bowl in 2000, Super Bowl 35. They were crushed in that game by Baltimore, but that was a, that was a really good signing, and he had some good years with the Giants, including getting them to the Super Bowl in 2000. Any other guesses? Oh, I know, I know a big moment for the Giants when it came to free agency. Yeah, go ahead. How about the pickup of a little guy you may remember named Lavar Arrington? Ring it up. <laughs> He's confused with the worst. Oh, we're talking oh. about the best. Sorry, I keep getting I keep getting confused. Uh, who I thought that it would uh, be Peter that would sandbag this? I got one. Yes. His friends call him Tony. Okay. Tony Pierce. Oh, Antonio Pierce is number four, Michael. Yeah. Five years with the Giants. Went to the Pro Bowl in 2006. A member of the 2007 Super Bowl team. I have Antonio Pierce at number four. That's a great call. Sure. Thank you. And There's I think I can left. round out the top five. His aunt was the star of good times. I think you know who it is. Esther Roll's nephew, <laughs> Antrell. I swear there must be a camera in this uh, basement that I'm in right now because Antrell Roll is number two. Wow, five years with the Giants. I'm talking about. Had 14 interceptions in those five yeah. years. Went to the Pro, Pro Bowl yeah. three times and a member of the 2011 Super Bowl champion New York Giants. Antrell Roll, and a heck of an interview, by the way, is number two. So we've got Kerry I'm Collins so proud at five, of myself. Antonio Pierce at four, Sean O'Hara at three, Antrell Roll at two, and Plexico Burris. The number one. Those are the top fives for today. So what do you think? I love it. And tomorrow I'm going to contribute top five people I've ever dated. It's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> Same Small show. show. We won him over. List. Andrew, we won him over because he did so well. That's the thing. It was a good setup, Don. You knew that he would do well with it, and now he's in. Well, unfortunately, no, you not. look at it. These are... You know, it really wasn't many guys you left off. I mean, Kareem McKenzie could have made the list for the Giants. Uh, you could have had when Alan Fanica with the Jets. But I think I came up with a solid top five. But can't say yeah. that either team really, you know, blew anybody away. But, you know, Kevin Mawai and Curtis Martin were not only the best free agent signings in the Jets, they could be one of the best free agent signings in football history. Ah, oh, what a great segment.